we have a water crisis in Suffolk County with all the untreated water from septic systems leaching into the groundwater. Suffolk County is very densely populated. A million and a half people atop sole source aquifer that delivers his drinking water. And people should put a higher value on the quality of their water. I think if you asked people on Long Island if they would pay $60 a year to maintain or improve the quality of their water, resoundingly they would say yes. We start to, to price potable water to cover the entire cycle of water so that it's potable again, we're underpriced. The, the notion that I'm in support of is that we start ratcheting the price now and create a pool of research money that will get us to the solutions faster. So you see, it really gets back to this nitrogen loading that effectively starves the water of oxygen and decimates aquatic life and habitat. We can do everything possible to preserve and expand the wetlands because they're the most effective. Mother Nature knows how to do this better than anybody else does. It was really in the wake of Sandy that we saw what degradation of our wetlands could mean in terms of property values. Uh, what you have effectively now is a sponge that's two-thirds of the size of what it used to be. And that means you have a much more forceful storm surge that causes infinitely more property damage. Our company is called Aquavectors, and the process that we have developed and are still developing is one which uses a combination of chemistry and physics. It's called electrochemistry. What we do is we electrochemically create an iron product that has a, a strong positive charge, and over here are the nitrates that have a negative charge, and you know that opposites attract. So boom, they go together, they're electrostatically bonded together, and then we just pull the iron product out of the wastewater stream, and the nitrates are gone. It's a unique process. Nobody has ever figured out how to do this before. We've got a team of people who've been working on this for as much as 25 years. We had gotten to a place where we had de demonstrated at the Northport, New York, uh, wastewater treatment facility that it was successful uh, at removing nitrates to a degree that nothing else they'd ever seen was, was able to do. So we're very excited about that, and we think that this has applications for everywhere from residential up to massive scale wastewater treatment. So it can go on the end of somebody's septic system, or it can go as a final unit on a wastewater treatment process at a municipal plant.